up. Internet My is. confusion and cholesterol, apparently. <laughs> um, also, what is it? My interest. And my okay. Penis. Interesting. <laughs> um, yes, we're back for another reaction. Um, and this one, this one, I'm, we're going in totally blind here. I've never heard this, heard of this band before until today. I got an email today. If this and doesn't like, get. Well, in other words, what Dave is saying is. <laughs> If you're listening to this, it means we have felt that it can be published online. <laughs> um, and if this doesn't appear, I don't know why I'm telling you that, because you'll never see it. Never see it. Um, but yeah, when I read the email, there was a few things in the press release. I was like, okay, this sounds like maybe we should react to this and see what happens. Um, so we're checking out a band called Omerta. Um, apparently America's most hated boy band. <laughs> right, you've, you've kind of got me confused. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. They, have, <laughs> they have unveiled a brand new single called Charade. Yep. Uh, also features Vincente Void and Hash Gordon. <laughs> Hash Gordon is the greatest name. It's, yeah. I can't stress how much I hate my brain for not coming up so, with that first. In that first sentence, I was out, then I was in. <laughs> and then I, re then I read the next part, which said... Cut from the same boundary-pushing cloth as their illustrious predecessors turned partners, Omerta, self-appointed America's most hated boy band, releases their provocative new single, Charade, out via Blowed Out Records. The joint label venture between legendary producer Ross Robinson oh, you've got, and, and. and founder of Side One Dummy Records, Bill Armstrong. Don't know who that is, but I'm in still. And genre-fluid pioneer ghost main oh right we're, we're in i'm sitting down in my seat i'm comfy watch look, look. this oh, look. <laughs> intrepid five minute opus defiantly dances across classification with ease and reckless abandon leaving absolutely nothing beyond its scope ross robinson has referred to the band as the next generation when okay. Ross Robinson, right, he's old. He's crazy. <laughs> Let's be honest. He's he lost that fight ago, and but I love him, right? So, um, but if Ross is saying, yeah, I was back in. I was it's like, okay, worth a wee watch. I'm in. And I read the next bit, Duncan. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? I'm like... <laughs> and it's, the next bit said, "Charade is cringe core." And I was like, cringe core. It's avant garde. Right. It's post post hardcore. Right. It's acid jazz. If it's post post hardcore, it's hardcore. It's <laughs> it's, <laughs> Just... it's, K it's it's K pop. It's prog rock. It's anime opening. It's neo metal. It's me, right? Like you <laughs> let's the, the, see if this is just a fucking hodgepodge of different styles flung together in a blender with an Asian spin. <laughs> I'm I'm there, and I'm glad that Ross Robinson has finally admitted that I was right all along. Um, so, you know what I'm like. I, don't, I, I, unlike you, I'm not beholden to the the rule of genre. Um, I mm -hmm. will happily go with the flow. So I, I, I don't know what's going to happen here, Duncan. To be honest, I'm very unsure. All I know is the video is at zero zero zero, and it looks like there's an, an like an anime girl having an orgasm, right? So she's like. If that's not an orgasm face, I don't know what it is. <laughs> right. Okay. I don't know how you do it, though. No. Right, that's fine. Well. Don't tell me, actually. I know it anyway, it's fine. Uh, right, so <laughs> okay. what are we doing here? Charade by Omerta, featuring yep. Vincente Void and Ash Gordon. Hash! Ah, Saviour of the universe. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do this, I suppose. Um... What, are you going in with this with degree scepticism? Very like, much. Park so, yeah. it at the fucking door, Buchanan. <laughs> I can't help it. You need to go into this as the great scholars, philosophers, and creed once said, with arms wide open. Let's not be let's quoting do it. creed. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's review. do it. Okay, here we go, Duncan. Yep. In three, two, one. To be by myself. Lonely and death, that is my fate. I've been a slave to shame, a waste of name. in this game, we play so well. You won't break the same. Got me. I've been in the grave of pain, the train of fate, to be sedated by your sin. 
a glitch code in the background. You just want to go into something fucking heavy. I'm going to disappear now. them on to a repeal dusk, right? What in the Jesus Christ did I just listen to Duncan? It was fucking awesome. That's what you listened to. You listened to something that was fucking awesome. In! In! Like, that is the easiest in ever. 
I'm still trying to pick my brain up off the oh, floor. Your right brain now. needs to be picked. What, 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 what is what is a what is a no in that? That's it. I'm not saying it's a no. I'm just saying it's a lot. That's the easiest. Yes, give me all it's... of that, and they have they have an album that they have an album from 2020 that I knew nothing about, <clears throat> which is now in there, which also features a song. That has Hash Gordon on it, um, <laughs> which just like does my heart good. There was, uh, there's so so much to unpack there. <laughs> there's so much. There's another video required to unpack that song. <laughs> um, I, I, like, I didn't think it was. It wasn't as out there as I thought it was going to be. What? The way you described it, that is not that. It, like the elements that you mentioned there are all in that. So. There was like K-pop boy band stuff in there for sure, and the vocal lines and the harmonies that went with it. So, oh, a big ton of new metal. There was glitchy shit in there. There was jazz. There was jazz, which was fun, but it wasn't like it wasn't like nasty jazz. It was good jazz. Mm. Um, and then they swung in at the end with something a bit shrink. That we was a heavy ending. It. So um, it was kind of like it reminded me of bits and pieces of like Pale Dusk. Um, yeah, but had that like kind of like issues meets um oh god what's the band we just reviewed last year we saw them support tesseract what the fuck are they called uh, 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 unprocessed unprocessed a little bit of that kind of like soulful kind of pop in there as well yeah, yeah um but like it was like they just had all the coffee beforehand it was like just ramped up i know you're gonna hate me for saying this there is something a little bit hundred gex about them <laughs> and eventually you come around to understanding that I'm right on that band and you're wrong um, when <laughs> everyone else starts to go into that where genre doesn't have a when genre no longer has a meaning the <laughs> difference being there was parts of that that I really liked um, whereas... <laughs> you've come round on them you've come round on them I'll be proved right in the long run and I'm happy to play this waiting game <laughs> even if it takes your deathbed to be like <laughs> okay, come here come here what's the day what's the day don't know why you die first but <laughs> come, here, come here come here what's the day oh, I should quite like the 100 games <laughs> so okay Dave go into the light <laughs> these are a couple of coins in your eyes um, <laughs> no like it wasn't as See, that wasn't as bizarre to me, but I think I maybe listened to more bizarre music than you. Probably. So that, to me, felt like... <laughs> it's That's... definitely out for an American band. It's definitely out there, but yeah. not not on a level where I'm like, oh, this is just fucking yeah. nuts. It flows really well, and that chorus is fucking fire. Uh, that I loved the ending. The ending was fucking awesome. I, was not exp I thought there was going to be a fade out at the end. And I had only like about 10 seconds to go. I thought they're going to fade this out, but no. Came right back in with a big fucking dirty riff right at the end. Well, yeah. The thing about it is, half of that band, and no offence to the band, half of that band is production. Mm. I need to see it live. Yeah. But then we said the same about Pale Dusk, and then we saw Pale Dusk live, and we're like, ah, it doesn't matter if they're playing <laughs> like half the band from a laptop. It looks fucking amazing, so give me it. Mm. Yep, they're, they're yeah. on the radar. I'm going to need a few more listens just to process that, but yes. Oh, I'm I, just going to need a couple of more listens to know I'm right. <laughs> but initially, like, it's it's definitely it's definitely got something about it that I enjoyed. Well, a wee bit something as well. I don't know if the band are aiming for this, and this is speaking inside language. So this is speaking behind the curtain here. There's something, uh, Junjunito, about specifically the style of video that they've created here. Yeah. The band check this out, they'll know what I mean. <laughs> All right. And Dave, oh, on man. the other hand, has not fucking. <laughs> I don't know what you're Spirals. talking about. Right no? It's what? Spir Spiral? No? Under you? Why did I even record with you? How are you <laughs> even friends? It's what like you, you don't even mean? fucking know me, man, honestly. What language is that? <laughs> it's a name, but that's fine. <laughs> It's English, David. <laughs> it's English, Dave. And I just said a name. That's all it is. Cool. Uh, so, that is Omerta uh, and Charade. Uh, links below to the track. Have a listen to that. Just let that sink in for a little while. Um, and uh, I'll drop some links below to the band and stuff so you can check them out online. 
Uh, yeah, interesting stuff. Definitely interesting stuff. I am. My interest is peaked, Duncan. My interest. I'm going back to listen to that. I'm on the. <laughs> I've got homework. Excellent. Uh, that is the reaction. Thank you for checking out. Uh, we'll be back with another reaction very soon. But until then, take care. Speak to you soon. Bye, everyone.